Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new series. This is a game called Slay the Spire. It's a single player deck building roguelite or roguelike game. I'm not sure, uh, but I don't know. Those, those specific adjectives by themselves were enough to pique my interest. This game's not actually quite out at the time that I'm recording and releasing this. Uh, this should be out on either November 6th or 7th. The game doesn't come out until November 15th. So there's a little bit of time to go. Uh, they gave me a key and like I said, this looked interesting. So I figured, hey, why not play it? I was looking for something interesting, something novel. So let's let's play. Let's see. Let's see what this is all about. Choose your character. Uh, how about it looks like a bird. Ooh, not a bird. It's just a helmet. The Ironclad, the remaining soldier of the Ironclads, sold his soul to harness demonic energies. I like the way you think. Six unlocks remaining for this guy, I guess. Burning blood at the end of combat heals six HP. Seems like a good beginner character. Level one, Exordium. Ooh, I can choose where to start. Uh, let's go. Let's go down the path that <laughs> that gives us choices because this doesn't really seem to take us anywhere interesting. Uh, this at least takes us to uh, a merchant or the unknown. Let's start in the middle. Defeat the enemies by playing cards from your hand. Cards require energy to play. Once you are out, end your turn. At the start of your turn, new cards are drawn and your energy is replenished. Play defensive cards to gain block when enemies are about to attack you. Block reduces incoming dam attack damage, but wears off at the start of your next turn. Alright, sounds simple enough. During your turn, you can observe an enemy's intent above them. If an enemy intent is intent on attacking you, be sure to gain some block. Alright, so there's some strategy involved here. He intends to attack me for 7 damage. Seems pretty straightforward. I can make him vulnerable. These are all strikes. Alright, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and block. Wait, I can play twice? Oh, did I just discard? No, wait. I have this much energy... All right, then we'll bash him too. And then we'll in turn because we're out. Draw pile. At the start of each turn, five cards are drawn from here. This Does it say that I'm going to draw five or I have five in the pile? Okay, so my hand is discarded at the end of a turn. All right, that block meant that he only dealt two damage to me. Uh, he's intent on blocking and using a buff, but he's vulnerable for fifty uh, percent damage. So I might as well just, um, well, I guess I'll. I only have two strikes, so let's let's just do one block and then strike him a couple times, and then we'll end our turn. Not that the block is really going to do anything unless it carries over from turn to turn, which yeah, totally didn't. If there are no cards to draw, your discard pile is shuffled into the draw pile. Alright, that's reasonable. He's going to attack me for 10 damage. And he increased his attack damage by a lot. So, this does no damage because he blocked it all. Well, alright. You jerk. At least I blocked all of his, too. Now we can do a bash. He's going to defend again. And I should be able to kill him on the next turn if I get three strikes. Dude, plus six attack? No, that's not good. 13 damage. All right, we got this anyway. Dang. All right. Strength potion, add a card to my deck. Apply three strength. I mean, if it's a potion... To gain bonuses or use them during combat. Are they temporary? Let's add a card to the deck. Deal four damage and place a copy of this card in your discard pile. Hold on. So every time I use this, I get another use of it on the next shuffle through. Interesting. And then Searing Blow, that's 12 damage. That's pretty good, too. But this is free! <laughs> oh, wait, I get them all? 
Drink or throw potions during combat. Potions stay with you between rooms. And we got some gold, too. Neat. Ah, look at this guy. <laughs> He's waving his arms around. He intends to use a buff. All right, might as well just beat the crap out of him, then. Yeah? <laughs> My power is unmatched. This enemy intends to inflict a negative effect on you. At the end of its turn, it g gains four strength. Well, that's interesting. So he's vulnerable now. We're going to draw that anger on the next turn. Weakened. 25% less damage. Well, he's going to do 12 damage to me. That's not good. Let's block the crap out of that. And I guess we'll do this 6 damage and then 4 damage. And get 2 of that. Yeah, that, that works exactly like I thought it does. Did, 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 does. Yeah, does. Works exactly like I thought it does. Did? Dang it. English is hard, guys. <laughs> My powers were matched. <laughs> so every fight, I get to add a uh, thing. Gain five block and deal five damage. That's just a strictly better... Strictly better uh, block. Yeah. Shuffle a wound into your draw pile. Wounds are unplayable status cards. Oh, this is giving me some Dominion flashbacks. It's like a curse. Or any of the estates. Like you want the you want the victory points from estates, but they do nothing when they're in your hand. I don't have enough. I don't feel like I can make a good use of this. What is exhaust? Removed until end of combat. Yeah, I don't feel like I can make a good enough use of a draw two to to bother grabbing that guy. Twelve damage though is a lot, but this is also versatile. I like that. I like versatility. Versatility is my... What is that? An elite? Alright, so there's an elite on every one. Then the rest... I guess we'll, we'll see how we feel over here. Thievery! Looter steals your gold whenever he attacks? Dude, I can't have that. He's about to deal 10 damage to me as well. Alright, do I... Well, it might as well... Might as well block some of this. Do what I can. For the sake of the country. The country? What? What are you even talking about? Alright, he's about to do 10 damage again. Uh, don't. Don't do that. Attack. Gonna block all of it this time. But he still steals my gold. What a jerk. This is totally not going to kill him. Not enough energy. Oh, that costs two. I always forget that that bash costs me two. Look at that, seven damage. I drew a handful of strikes. <laughs> oh yeah, I have this strength potion. Gain eight block and draw a card. For one? Blood for blood for four energy. I don't even... I can't even use four energy. I only got three. <clears throat> oh, costs one less energy for each time you lose HP in combat. Deal 16 damage. I kind of want that. Let's, let's go for that. I got all my gold back. So what do you think this is? Let's be dangerous. You come across a dead adventurer on the floor. His pants have been stolen. Also, it looks as though he's been gouged and trampled by a horned beast. Though his possessions are still intact, you're in no mind to find out what happened here. Let's search. Don't come back. Relics can be found throughout the spire. Uh, they can be found... What does this do? At the start of each combat, draw two additional cards? That's so cool! Uh... I found a relic. Now let's go ahead and leave. <laughs> I don't really want to see... Uh, what... 
did that to that guy. Is this two monsters? Holy moly! They're both about to buff themselves. Except they're both weak. What is this? When attacked, rolls up and gains five block. On death, applies vulnerable to me for two turns. How about I just strike the crap out of this guy? In front. Can't use anything else in my hand. Grow. Strength up. Strength up for him, too. That's not good. This guy's about to attack me, but I should be able to just destroy him. So he's dead. This guy's about to buff himself again, but he's about to gain five block as well. Huh. What order do I want to do this in? When attacked, rolls up and gains five blocks. So will the blocks stack? So we'll do the five here. This is going to do one damage. And he doesn't curl again. He can only curl once. Good. That's what I wanted to know. So he's going to grow again. And presumably he's going to attack me on this turn. Other, Holy crap! 18 damage! Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. <laughs> nice try! Nice try. Whirlwind. Spend all energy, deal 5 damage to all enemies. X times? I can do 15 damage. To multiple enemies. Deal 10 damage plus 2 for each strike in my hand. Draw pile and discard pile. Dude, that's awesome. Why does it say skill? Okay, so... This is a tough choice. Perfected strike is so powerful, though. Let's go for the power. And now we're going to fight an elite and see what that has. Oh, he's naked. This is going to get demonetized. Gremlin Knob. Okay. So he's about to buff himself, so let's just... Let's just unload on this dude. See, this might actually be a point where anger is a bad thing to have in my deck. Roar! Enraged. This enemy... Intends to inflict a negative effect on you and attack for 8 damage. Whenever you play a skill, he gains 2 strength? Oh, crap. Dude, I have to choose between Bash and Perfected Strike. Well, it's not really much of a choice, you know. Oh, God. I have to block. Maybe I should have used my strength potion. Especially for that attack. Vulnerable. Alright. Iron wave is a good thing to use here. And do I strike him twice or do I double defend? If I double defend, he's going to gain four power because he's still enraged. I don't want to give him... I don't want to give him the satisfaction. So let's... Let's go aggro. It's a lot of damage, though. Ugh. This bash comes in at a good time. Make him vulnerable. Give him some anger. We might get another anger on the next. Actually, we are going to get another anger in this hand. Did 
Dude, this guy is screwed. This would have been a lot of damage on this turn if that didn't just straight up kill him. Ginger, you can no longer become weakened. Is that an artifact? It is an artifact. Interesting. Deal damage equal to your current block. Well, I don't think that's great. Another perfected strike would be pretty cool. But I also think having the option to have a whirlwind, especially with this bag of preparation, if I ever fight multiple monsters, uh, that would be pretty rad. I'm going to go for this campfire. Or maybe this one. Depending on how things look after these next couple of combats. See, this is exactly why I need the whirlwind. Did I get it? I didn't get it! What is he about to do? He's about to use mysterious magic. This guy's going to inflict a negative effect on me. What a jerk. Well, this is 10 damage. I can one-shot this guy. These guys are gonna, like... These guys are gonna hurt me. Oh, and those guys become enraged? Oh, when it takes attack damage. That could, that could benefit from a different icon. Okay, though. Um... Might as well anger on this fat gremlin in the back. Now, do I defend myself? <laughs> or do I, I go straight for the throat? I think I defend myself. Will I ever get more than three energy? Oh, can, I can no longer be weakened. That's right. Alright. Is he fleeing? Dude, I don't think so. Uh-uh. How freaking dare you? You don't get to attack me and then run away. That's not how this game works. Yeah, you guys ain't gonna hurt me. That 5 damage, 5 block is real nice. This is gonna do 15 damage to both of them. Alright, here's what we do. Perfected strike on this guy. And then we whirlwind for 1. Kills that guy. Now this guy is... Primed to hopefully die on the next turn. <laughs> yeah, we got this. Strike, strike, strike! So we're, we're back to 50 HP, which is pretty alright. Clothesline, apply 2 weak and 12 damage. That's not great. I don't need another anger. Spot weakness. If the enemy intends to attack, gain 3 strength. Okay. I think that's a reasonable pr approach. Next combat. Two of these mushroom men. Alright. I might as well just open with this whirlwind, or I could just block. Hmm... I'm going to double block and then whirlwind for one. Get 10 damage out there. I don't feel like taking 12 damage out of the gate. You know what I mean? Seems like it might be a bad idea to take that much damage. I still have a few more combats that I have to go through before I can uh, get all the way. So I don't think this is the perfect time for this. But... Here, we can do a perfected strike on this guy. Alright, is it weakness or vul it's vulnerable? Oh. So we'll strike that guy. Anger on him. So now I'm vulnerable, so he's going to do 9 damage. 
That doesn't feel good. But we totally have a kill here. Seven damage. There. Not bad. I'm liking this so far. Draw five cards? Dang! Eight block and draw a card. Let's go with Shrug It Off. This is our only draw. I'm a little upset that I don't gain more mana, though. Heal an additional 15 HP when you rest. Um, Let's go for this rest. Or maybe I should have gone for the merchant. Oh well, it's too late now. A strange looking humanoid with a large hunched back sprouting several tentacles is scrounging through a pile of trash and debris in front of you. As you approach, he shuffles towards you in a non-threatening manner. Nloth hungry. Feed Nloth. Gain a new special relic for my bag of preparation? No, I want my... Ugh. Here, take the bag. Triples the chance of receiving rare cards as monster rewards. Holding the relic out towards him, the Loth scratches it out of your hand with his tentacles, dislocates his jaw, and slurps down your offer in one quick gulp. He gives you a large, toothy grin as more tentacles appear from behind his cloak. These ones are brandishing an impossibly neat-looking box. He pushes it towards you until you take it. Cool. Thanks, Nloth. So... This is the only way I'll have a chance to... go to a merchant, is if I go this way. Split. When less than 50% HP will split into two smaller slimes with spike slimes current HP. Oh my goodness. Negative effect. Well. Just go for it. I can still spin this. It's funny. We're all in for nothing! <laughs> that seems like an unnecessary thing to have. He licked me. Now I'm frail. 16 damage. Jesus, dude. Well, make that 13. Interrupted. Interrupted. Is it because he's about to split? Is that his action? To split? It was. So now they're going to do negative effects again. Spot weakness is worthless. Iron wave is not as good. So, uh... C'est la vie. Lick. Lick. They haven't hurt me yet? Dang. Alright. So first, spot weakness. Gain some strength. I can deal 7, 10 damage to this guy with an anger. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And then this is going to do... Oh, he's not vulnerable, so he's just going to do the 9. And then... Pff, defend 3, I guess. What else am I going to do? Am I right? I don't know why he had to wound. He wounded me? Dude, that ain't right. Eat it. Apply 3 weak. Deal 7 damage to all enemies. Dude, that's really good. Add a random attack to your hand. It costs 0 this turn. That's really good too! Deal 8 damage every time this card is played. Increase its damage by 4 for this combat. 
that's also really good. <laughs> Random. Alright, what's a merchant gonna have? Welcome! Oh, look at that finger. Card removal service? Remove a card from your deck. I don't think I need that. Artifacts. At the beginning of combat, gain one strength. Whenever you get a rest site, the next three additional energy? In future, what's with the flashing that's going on? Or I could, or I could buy one of these cards. It loses nine strength. Choose a skill from your draw pile and place it into your hand. So I have 262 gold. Ethereal. If this card is in your hand at the end of its turn, it is exhausted. Stay a while and listen. Lose 5 HP, gain 2 energy, draw 3 cards, and exhaust. Holy crap. I think I want... This. And... This. And we'll leave. I think that was a good merchant. Let's move on. And we'll rest for the first time in our lives. Smith? What is this? What is this Smith? I need to rest. So I heal for 24 plus 15. I could totally afford to rest at the last thing. Because I know there's another campfire in the way. So let's Smith. Upgrade my anger. Let's do it. Give me less of a uh, disincentive. Be less disincentivized to use it. This card applies a power to you when used. Powers are passive abilities that remain for the duration of the combat. Dude. I did not know that. That's so... That's good, right? That's great! Inflame. Spot weakness. Shrug it off. I was hoping for an anger, but you know what? This works. How do you wound me? How did that even work? I could deal 33 damage with this right now. That was pretty great, actually. Yo, that inflame is super good. This guy is super dead. Iron Wave. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was an awesome freaking little run. You can discard potions to make room for others. Discard that. We'll take the regen. That'll come in handy. Skills cost zero. Whenever you play a skill, exhaust it or entrench. Let's do this. We might be able to make good use of it. And we're going to rest this time. And then proceed onto this bus. Mode shift, the guardian. After taking 30 damage, changes to a defensive mode. Okay. And he's going to block and buff. Just open up with what we got, I guess. Charging up. Destroy, destroy, destroy. 32 damage? And I only drew one freaking defend. It 
Let's drink that. Defend. Bash. What just happened? He went defensive? He's not going to attack me anymore? Well, maybe I should save my blocks for the last. Whenever you play an attack, take three damage. Why? <laughs> Shrug it off. Then I might as well strike twice? Well, he's about to do nine damage to me and I'm going to hurt myself, so... Now he's doing three damage? Per hit? What made him go defensive mode, though? I thought it was when he was at 50% HP. Vulnerable wears off 8 times 2. Hell. Okay. Spot weakness. And flame. Oh, God. Infernal blade. Deal 13 damage to all enemies, heal for unblocked damage dealt, and then exhaust. Oh my God. That's so perfect. Actually, it's not quite perfect, but we're still going to do it. We're going to use bloodletting. So I'll have the energy for this block, and then we're going to use Re Reaper. <clears throat> Which probably wasn't all that efficient, but I guess it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh my god. Oh, after taking that much damage. Okay. We have a massive turn here. Um, how do we want to do this? Perfected strike first. So he's got 11 left. Now we use... Blood for blood. He's back to, de to defensive mode. He's got a little bit of block, but not a lot. We strike him, then we anger him. Easy. Oh, do I? Yeah, I'll shrug it off. If I draw an anger, that'd be perfect. I guess maybe a bash works. Uh, Iron Wave is better, actually. I have so much plus strength right now, it's nuts. So he's going to do 9 damage. I can absorb it. Let's do the damage and then end our turn. Look at that. Two damage? That's nothing. I like how my anger does as much damage as my strikes now. Defend. Strike. Anger. We did it! First run! Massive success, maybe. Maybe that was just this floor that I succeeded on. Bludgeon? 32 damage. Block no longer expires at the start of your turn. Whenever you gain any amount of block, deal 3 damage to all enemies. <laughs> yeah. 
proceed. Replaces burning blood at the end of combat, heal 10 HP. Upon pickup, choose and transform three cards, then upgrade them? Transformed cards become a random card of any rarity. Upgrading cards makes them more powerful, can only be upgraded once. Or, tiny house, obtain one potion, gain 30 gold, raise your max HP by five. Let's do the Astrolab, that sounds really interesting. Get the upgrades going. What are we going to upgrade? Transform three cards, then upgrade them. Okay, what, what do I not like so much? I'm realizing how good strength bonuses are. Whirlwind is sometimes really good. That can eventually become free, so let's do block. Let's do bash. And I want to keep my strikes for my perfected strike. I might as well get rid of bloodletting, actually. I think I grabbed that because it was the best option I had. Deal. Well, where, what did I just get? Feed, deal 12 damage if this kills the enemy, gain 4 permanent max HP, and then exhaust. When, gain 16 block whenever you attack this turn, deal 4 damage to the attacker. Draw 1 card, then add 2 extra copies of that card to your hand. Okay, that was pretty cool. And what do we have when we proceed? Level 2, the city. Alright, you know what? That's gonna have to end it for this episode. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. This was a long episode. <laughs> but like I said, hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to keep on going. Um, I wasn't expecting to clear that. And I also wasn't expecting the second floor. And I'm probably going to start uh, cutting it in the middle. Uh, keep episodes around 20 minutes. You know, to save, save my time so we get more episodes. So I don't run out of backlog in the future like I did this time. Anyway, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.